Hello friends, this video on weather climate and adaptations part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us discuss about each of these uh, elements in little more detail. So we will first talk about temperature. Now how do we measure the temperature? of the environment like we are saying that okay when it is summer the temperature is more and when it is winter the temperature is less similarly we said that during the early morning the temperature is low that's why we feel cold but by the time it is afternoon it's like quite heat quite hot and the temperature becomes high now how do we know how much is the temperature so for that purpose we have this device called maximum and minimum thermometers. So these are special type of thermometers which have been designed to measure the temperature of the environment. Like we are all familiar with a thermometer, we know what is a thermometer. So it's like a glass tube which has some mercury inside it and it, it has a scale which is graduated with various values and when we put it in our body it tells the temperature of our body so that thermometer is a clinical thermometer we have learned about thermometers in one of our previous lesson right so we often use thermometer when we fall ill when we are high with fever we want to measure our body temperature so this, this is also a thermometer which is which again consists of a glass tube with um, graduations on it which help you to note the temperature but it is little differently designed so that it can measure the temperature of the atmosphere so let us have a look at this special type of thermometer so this is how maximum and minimum thermometer looks like so you see it has got two scales instead of one like for the normal thermometer which is used to measure body temperature it just have one scale but here you have two different scales so it's like kind of a u-shaped tube so the glass tube is u-shaped so what does this thermometer do what is the speciality of this thermometer it is going to record the highest and the lowest temperature during a period of time so let us say if you want to know which were, what was the highest temperature on a particular day and what was the lowest temperature so this thermometer would be your best choice so that that's what i was telling you right when i showed you the newspaper clippings so in the newspaper clippings it it told the maximum and minimum temperature for each particular location like for bangalore it showed the maximum and minimum temperature for delhi it showed maximum and minimum temperature and similarly it showed it for all other places so how we recorded that temperature is using a maximum and minimum thermometer. So let us learn more about maximum and minimum thermometers. So here you can see the picture more clearly that it has got a U-shaped glass tube. So if you see, this is the U-shaped glass tube. It is in the shape of the English alphabet U. Right? So and in this U-shaped glass tube, on both the sides, you have two separate temperature scales along each arm of the U. So if this is your U, this is one temperature scale and this is another temperature scale. So one of these will measure the maximum temperature, the other one will measure the minimum temperature. And both these arms, so this is one arm, this is another arm, and both these arms, they terminate in a sealed glass tube. So on the other end, it is not open, but there is, it, it is sealed on the other end. And which is the liquid present inside maximum and minimum thermometer? Like mostly in clinical thermometers, mercury is present because of so many characteristics, like it does not stick to the walls, it has very high melting point, it has a shiny appearance. Now in these thermometers, mercury is not used because there are certain disadvantages also which are associated with mercury like uh, it is very difficult to dispose of mercury because it is extremely poisonous. So in these thermometers, mercury is replaced by alcohol because alcohol has a lot of properties which are similar to uh, mercury but at the same time it doesn't have the disadvantages which are there for mercury. So basically th this is how the construction of the maximum and minimum thermometers are. So if you look at these two separate scales, so you can very clearly see that in one scale, so it is in the increasing order towards this side, whereas on the other scale it is just the opposite. The values are increasing along this side. So it is something like this. So here on this scale, the more the column moves up, while measuring temperature, the 
what would happen? And what would happen if it goes high on this scale? So if on this scale, the value, it is going up, the value is actually decreasing. But in this scale, if it is going up, the value is actually increasing. So that is the beauty of having two arms and each arm has the labeling in the opposite sense. So two temperature scales exist. So this is one temperature scale. This is another temperature scale. So one records maximum temperature, whereas the other records minimum temperature. So you can have a close look on the uh, maximum and minimum thermometer. So you see the terminal ends of the thermometer, they terminate in sealed glass bulbs and also the two different scales, one of them is for maxima, the other one is for minima. So you see as the liquid rises on this tube, it gives you the reading of minima and the rise of liquid in this tube gives you the reading for maximum temperature. So that's how this thermometer measures maximum and minimum temperatures. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.